Hi everyone and welcome to the second part of this video. So in the last video we discussed uh, what is the concept of technical analysis, how does it compare to fundamental analysis. So in this video we are going to dive a little bit deeper into the basic concept, basic tenets of technical analysis. So let's go into that. So the components of technical analysis are four. Okay. Everything that you do in when you look at charts and patterns, it is composed of four things. So four components are price, price of the underlying, it could be stock, currency, crypto, anything. It could be time, what time frame are you looking at? Volume, right? What is the activity volume with buying and selling volume, trading volume and what is the trend? So we are going to talk about the components of technical analysis in, in the context of these four things, price, time, volume and trend. Okay. So what is price? Price is an interaction or a point where demand and supply of things meet. Price refers to any combination of open, high, low or close for a given security or an index over a specific time frame. We'll talk about what, what that means. Price of a security depends on expectations of buyers and sellers. If the investor expects the price to rise, he will buy the security. If he expects the price to fall, he will sell it. So when you look at price in the context of technical analysis, you view it in four ways or in four point data points. So what is the open in the given time frame? What is the high in the given time frame? What is the low in the given time frame and what is the close in the given time frame? So example, if you're looking at weekly price on Royal Bank stock. So at what price did the Royal Bank stock opened in this week? So that's the opening price. Oh, how high did the price go? That's the high point of Royal Bank in this week. What was the low point of Royal Bank? in the given week. What was the closing price of Royal Bank in a given week? Okay, so let's say Monday to Friday is the trading week for us, right? So in that in that time frame, Monday to Friday, how at what price did it open on Monday? At what price did it close on Friday? How high did it go? How low did it go? So these are the four things that you look at, okay, depending on the time frame. So what is open? Open is the price of the first trade for the period. It, example, if you're looking at a day chart instead of a week chart, then what is the first trade of the day? At what price did that happen? When analyzing the daily data, the open is especially important as it is the consensus price after all interested parties were able to sleep on it. So open price means there is a discontinuity in especially when you're trading stocks. It's not there when you trade cryptos because it's a continuous right market, but stock markets are not continuous stock markets close. So let's say you're looking at Tuesday, right? So people slept on some information about Royal Bank on Monday, right? So Monday had a closing price after that the market stopped trading and Monday the market like Tuesday the markets opened again. So Open price is very important because people have the like people have the capacity to think more about that stock when they sleep on it. Okay. What is high? High is the highest price that a security traded during the point during the period. It is the intraday high trading price or intra week or intra month depending on the like type of chart you're looking at. If you're looking at a daily chart, which will, I'll show you examples. Then high point is the high is the price at which like highest price in the day that the security achieved. Low is the lowest price in the given time frame that the security traded. Close is the last price that the security traded during the period. So due to its easy availability, the close is the most often used price for analysis. So whenever you look at, we are going to look at different charts, but whenever you look at a chart, right, especially a line chart, then it shows it shows information as a single line, right? That information is nothing but the closing prices. 
the relationship between the first price open and the last price close is considered significant by most market technicians. Volume is another very important data point. It is the total number of shares that were traded during the period. The behavior of volume, volume is most in most cases confirms the accuracy of prediction. So volume is something that will like when whenever you look at different type of technical analysis, volume confirms your analysis. So Dow theory laid great emphasis on volume and stated that volume should expand along the main trend. This means that even if the main trend is bullish, the volume should increase with the rise in prices and fall during the intermediate reaction. Then time is also important in both price and volume are relative to time frame that is considered. Time becomes one of the more like one of the more important comp components of technical analysis. After all, trading in stock is based on how well you can time your decisions. Whether you are an investor or a speculator, speculator relative worth of time is very important to you. Since the time assumes so much importance, charts are required to give us pictorial presentation of time frame and price movements. <clears throat> now we are going to start building like our understanding of chart and then we'll start looking at examples. So foundation of technical analysis is the chart. In this case, a picture is worth a thousand words. So stock analyst, especially technical analyst, always looks at chart. It is simply a graphical representation of a series and sequence of price over a set time frame. So it is always price versus time. We'll see an example, then we'll talk about it. So it is price versus time. On the chart, y-axis, which is the vertical axis, represents the price, and x-axis, which is the horizontal axis, represents the time. Price are plotted from left to right across x-axis, with the most recent plot being the furthest right. Okay, why charts are important? Chart gives you a pictorial representation. It is easy to identify the trend and a graphical historical records make it easy to spot effect of key events, right? Example, it's highs, lows, etc. So one of the basic charts, right, that technical analysts look at is a line chart. It is one of the simplest type of chart. It is formed by plotting one price point, usually the closing price of the security over a period of time. By connecting dots or price points over a period of time, a line can be created. By default, the line chart is formed by taking into account the closing prices only. So I have given an example of a company called as MCAN. It's a mortgage company in Canada. So MCAN Mortgage Corporation. This is an example of a line chart. So all these points that you see that represents this line, right, are the closing prices of MCAM, right? So if you see below, so this x-axis is time, so December, October, so on and so forth, x-axis is the time, y-axis is the price. So chart is always x-axis time, y-axis price. This is the latest information, this is the current information of MCAN. Right? And leftwards, if you go, that will be the past information of MCAN. Okay, so this is an example of a line chart. Now, below this line chart, you can see some like this bar graph. That bar graph is volume. Volume means how much shares of this MCAN company have been traded. Okay. So that was the basic line chart that you can see. The second one is the bar chart. So it constitutes the open, high, low and close prices of stocks or an index. It uses single vertical bars, bars to represent the stock price, right? And opening and closing. So just to build on it, line chart only shows you closing price. It doesn't show any other information about the stock. So what is the daily closing price of MCAN, right? And then we are joining it and drawing a line. Bar chart has more information because it shows opening, closing, high and low. So we'll see how it looks like. So this is an example of a bar chart. So the leftmost small horizontal line 
the leftmost small horizontal line shows the opening price so this is the opening price whatever that price is that is the opening price of this security right on let's say a given day so the stock let's say it's a stock it opened at this price which is represented by left leaning horizontal line right leaning horizontal line shows the closing price so opening price closing price okay then there is high right the vertical line the topmost point shows the price level high and lowest point shows price level low so in one bar chart you have four informations at what price did the stock opened how high did it go how low did it go and what was the closing price so bar charts have way more information than a line chart so this is an example of a real life bar chart now before we go further bar chart is also color coded if the closing price is higher than opening price the bar chart will be color coded green if closing price is less than opening price it will be color coded red so you can see two types of bar charts have been given so red means the closing happened below the opening price green means the closing happened above the opening price so this is an example of a bar chart the horizontal small horizontal lines leftward lines right they represent opening price right the high point represents closing price the low point represents the high point represents high points low point represents low points and the rightward line represents closing price there is also one more type of chart not commonly used but it is like figure and a point and figure chart so this type of chart shows the same price action but in a more compressed forms so it has x and o's x means right that the prices are rising o means the prices are declining buy and sell signals are more precise and easier to spot on a point point and figure chart okay so this o represents like prices dropping and x represents prices rising <clears throat> now we'll look at candlestick chart and we are going to spend more time on candlesticks because that is one of the common uh, like charts that have been used so candlestick charts originated over 300 years ago in japan and have become very popular amongst chartists and analysts as they are simple and easy to read it shows again four information like bar charts it shows open high low and close they provide a clear indication of the relationship between open and close so there are two types of candles green and red or hollow and dark depending on which software you are using so it shows four information now if it is a green candle right then the lower horizontal line the base of the candle shows the opening price the upper horizontal line shows the closing price it's a green or a hollow candle it means that the closing price was higher than the open that the stock opened low and then went up and closed higher this vertical line top shows the high price this vertical line bottom shows the low price so in a candlestick chart four informations are there lower shadow shows the low point base of the candle either shows open or close if it is a green candle it shows open the top of the candle shows again open or close if it is a green candle it shows close then there is high point okay then if it is a red candle or a dark candle then the close will be the base because market's opened up and then went down and closed the open will be the top of the candle then there is like upper handle or upper shadow which shows high and lower shadow which shows low okay so i am going to spend lot of time so instead of like we'll come back and look at slides but let's look at some practical examples okay 
now how to look how to see a candlestick chart so i'm going to use investing.com you can use any software you want right we are looking at royal bank royal bank of canada okay then technical chart and i'm going to make it full screen and we are going to discuss the candlestick chart so first of all we have to go to a candlestick chart right so i'm going to do candles okay so this is a daily chart one day is the time frame so every candle represents a day every candle represents a day so let's discuss these two candles candle one and candle two so what does this candle represents now it's a green candle it means the base of the candle this price 133.14 this represents opening price the top of the candle represents closing price 134.84 so this on this day 11th of like 22nd 11 2022 right the stock opened at this price went up right and closed at this price now if you see the left like the hollow part right the shadows so lower lowest level of this shadow is 133 132.82 that is the low point of this day and highest point is 135.20 the high point of the day so one candle green candle representing representing four things the base of the candle opening price the top of the candle closing price the base of the can like the shadow of the candle lower shadow low point and the upper shadow high point same thing with a red candle little bit different though if it is a red candle then opening price is the base like the top of the candle this is the opening price so it opened up went down and base of the candle is the closing price the reverse of the green in green this is open this is close right in red candle this is open top is open right bottom is close once again in a green candle the base is open it opened here it went up and it closed at this price in a red candle it opened here went down and it closed at this point okay then the shadows this is the highest point of the shadow so this is the high of the day and this is the low of the day so this is an example of a daily candle now you can even change the time frame and look at a weekly candle now each candle is representing a week so in this week this is the low like this is the opening price it's a green candle so this is the open this is the close the daily like the weekly high is this the weekly low is this in a red candle this is the open this is the close that is the weekly high this is the weekly low so any time frame you look the concept remains same if it is a week a month now each candle represents a month or even like five minutes so if you do five minutes each candle represents five minutes okay the concept remains the same so candlesticks so if you are looking at a monthly candlestick each candle represents a month if you are looking at a weekly candlestick each candle represents a week if you are looking at daily candlestick each candle represents a day okay <clears throat> if you are looking at like smaller time frames like minutes or something then each candle represents some like those things okay so that's the basics of candlestick patterns in the next video we'll continue with trends trends are important and very interesting so like just memorize this or just understand it to your core because we are going to build on it support resistance trends everything builds on your capacity to understand what a chart is if most common chart is a candlestick chart whenever you are looking at a candlestick chart it will show you four data points open high 
low and close okay depending on the color of the candle either the open is higher than close or lower than close okay so in the next video we'll talk about trends